Hello everyone and welcome to another video. It's an amazing time. The Spider-Man No Way Home trailer has dropped. Now it did drop in the early hours of the morning here in the UK. However, being a working man with a day job, I had to go and do said day job. So it is now 7.30 in the evening. I've had to avoid the trailer all day. So let's get to it, let's react to it and see whether any of the rumours of characters other than Doc Ock and Electro who have been confirmed already are in the movie. See if we've got other Spider-Men, see if there's any other Mephisto since he's always going to be on the peripheral somewhere and in the comics uh, there was the one fine day story uh, where Spider-Man made a deal with Mephisto for everyone to forget who he was uh, after Civil War. In the comics he'd revealed himself in Civil War um, and Aunt May was being targeted and because Aunt May was being targeted he spoke to Mephisto and wanted that one day of him revealing himself to be eradicated from everyone's memory. I posited my own theory that it would be very simple for him just to get a scroll, Talos for example, to be Peter Parker and then have Spider-Man come in, look Peter Parker and Spider-Man are in the same place at the same time, but I don't think they're going to go that, I think that'd be too easy. Um, but I'm blabbering a bit now, let's get the trailer watched, let's see what the skinny is and I'll see you on the other side. Ooh. Ooh, Fallen City. Oh, look at this. This is a good one. Some suggest that Parker's powers include the male spider's ability to hypnotize females. Stop. <laughs> Come on. Yes, my spider lord. Yeah. Can we just, like, stay up here all day? It is so crazy down there. Yeah. That's right, folks. Spider-Man is, in fact, Peter Parker. <laughs> Listen, I did not kill Mysterio. The drones did. The drones that are yours. Oh, was that uh, Charlie Cox? Daredevil? What do you mean? Oh, my Murdoch? Now that everybody knows, you don't really have to hide or lie to people. For the record, I never wanted to lie to you. But how do you tell someone that you're Spider-Man? Now everybody knows. Mm. But this isn't about me. This Cox. is hurting a lot of people. I've just been thinking about how to fix all of this. So, Peter, to what do I owe the pleasure? I'm sorry to bother you, sir. Please, we saved half the universe together. I think we're beyond you calling me, sir. Okay, Stephen. That feels weird, but I'll allow it. When Ooh, Mysterio gotcha. revealed my identity, my entire life got screwed up. I was wondering if maybe you could make it so that he never did. Strange. Don't cast that spell. They are doing it's one too thing dangerous. Thing. Fine. I won't. The entire world is about to forget that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Wait, everyone? Can't some people still know? That's not how the spell works. So MJ's gonna forget about everything we've ever been through? Stop tampering with the spell. Oh my god, Ned, he's my best friend. Oh, my Aunt May should really know. Stop talking. <laughs> happened we tampered with the stability of space-time the multiverse is a concept about which we know frighteningly little the problem is you trying to live two different lives the longer you do it the more dangerous it becomes <laughs> goblin be careful Ooh. what you wish for, Parker. Oh, Doc Ock. Hello, Peter. They're doing that thing where they've got two scenes where they're not related, but they're making it look like they are. Okay, oh, that, that was... Ooh, that was phenomenal. I am buzzing. Uh, no other Spider-Man, although I'm going to come to that in a second, 
Uh, I believe when Peter was handcuffed in the police station, that was Matt Murdock slamming the files down. That's what a lawyer would do. And on a side note, if Mysterio is not dead, Matt Murdock, Daredevil, would be the perfect person to fight him because he can't see the illusions. He can only echo location feel what's there. And in the illusions, those things aren't actually there. So that could tie in. Uh, we definitely saw Electro, Yellow Lightning, Electro, possibly Sandman. Be careful what you wish for, Parker. That could be a number of different people. I know I'm going to get burned. That isn't Doctor Strange. He's too blasé. He's too lackadaisical. Um, he's too reckless. And I think, crucify me if I'm wrong, that was Mephisto. They're doing the one fine day arc. That's what's going to happen. The Mollyverse is blasted open. That was a Raimi pumpkin bomb, by the way, as well. That was the exact same design that I'm pretty sure was Willem Dafoe's laugh. So we are getting Willem Dafoe Green Goblin. Are they all being plucked? Because they've said before that Raimi, eh, sorry, Doc Ock, uh, Molina has said it picks up exactly from where he died in Spider-Man 2. And I have have posited a theory a number of times on Twitter and such like that the fusion reactor, the, that energy has to go somewhere. Coupled with this, it opened the rift in time and space. So, Raimi, Spider-Man 2, Doc Ock is here. Electro, when he was overloaded and poofed, and that, that's a scientific term, poofed, then he also released a lot of energy that coincided with this. He moved into a different universe as well. That's why we're Electro. Pretty sure Sandman was there. Or it could be, it could just be wind getting whip, uh, whipping up the dirt, but it could be Sandman. There is definitely Doc Ock, but the way they cut that, he wouldn't recognise our Peter Parker. So for him to say hello Peter is not to Tom Holland, it is to Tobey Maguire. But also, and here's the thing as well, I don't think he's a villain. I don't think that Doc Ock is a villain, because if he was plucked, from the moment of his death, then that is after he redeemed himself. He took control of the tentacles. He then took the reactor and took it down into the lake. Uh, the river Was that a river or a lake? We'll say a lake. He took it down into the lake and then he died, which is where his appearance is here. I think that was an amicable and amiable Hello Peter. And Doc Ock is here to help not to fight Spider-Man. I could be wrong. It's not unheard of. But that's what I'm going with there. That's not Doctor Strange doing the spell. It's Mephisto. They're doing one fine day. It, Doc Ock is not a villain. Definitely Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin. Uh, we already know Jamie Foxx's Electro. Mysterio. Could we get Bruce Campbell in as an alternate Mysterio? That would be hilarious. Uh, but all in all, that was a fantastic teaser trailer. I hope if the Spider-Men are in the movie that they don't let it come out in the trailers. I hope that is kept for the actual movie itself. Although it seems, depending on the legitimacy of it, well, though it seems, depending on the legitimacy of it, that. The toys are going to spoil it again. Although, again, you have to look at the toys are not always a reflection of what's happening in the movie. It makes sense for more than one Spider-Man. It makes sense that Doc Ock was talking to his Spider-Man, his Peter Parker. And when it cut to the scene of our Peter Parker, Tom Holland, or the MCU's Peter Parker, Tom Holland, suiting up, that was a different scene. Uh, they're very good at mixing and matching shots and trailer. But 
that was immense that was fantastic i look forward to the movie in december uh we've got shang chi and eternals coming up as well in the mcu so it's going to be a nice end to the year but leave your comments down below on what you think is going on in the trailer whether i'm way off base as it relates to Mephisto, Doc Ock being a good guy, Sandman maybe popping up in there. And like, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave your comments down below and I'll see you on another video very soon. Goodbye.